I walked into this meeting this evening, I came in as Emmanuel Umar, the Honorable Commissioner. Little did I know that God, who is the God of all possibilities, is going to change my status. Isn't that a miracle? Now I've been addressed as the representative of His Excellency, see, the governor of Niger State. What an honor from my Father in heaven. What a privilege that God has given unto me. What a privilege and a greater one that we have our Father in the Lord, our Daddy, the convener of GCK, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui in our state. We want to thank God for his blessings that even in our midst, our mother, who has been supporting our father, she's here, Mama, you are welcome once again to Niger State. I want to specially acknowledge our father, a mentor, a man who has tirelessly served this state and nation. I'm referring to my father, Professor Jerry Ghana. Thank you for always encouraging the brethren in Niger State and Nigeria. I acknowledge the presence of our former Deputy Governor, His Excellency, Dr. Shane Nuzagbai, thank you for being a blessing to the body of Christ. I will also acknowledge the chairman of Khan Niger State, who is ably represented here by the immediate past chairman, my father, our mentor, a man who God has used mightily in this state to promote Christ and Christ alone with your team. Thank you very much, sir, for all that the Lord is using you to do. I will read the speech of His Excellency, the Governor of Niger State. I feel highly elated and honored to join my Christian brethren, especially the faithful adherents of the Christian faith worldwide here in the city of Mina, Niger State in North Central Nigeria to this special crusade program. I, on behalf of my government, the peace-loving people of Niger State, feel very honored for your choice of our state to anchor a massive global program of this nature as your alpha location. Your decision to hold a program like this in our state, despite the negative media reports of perverting security challenges in our part of the world, stands you out among many religious leaders as a true man of faith endowed with godly power and authority. Over the years, I personally have known you as a true man of God. I believe we all will testify to that. Filled with humility, integrity, and unadulterated truth about the world and mind of our great and mighty God. You are really a rare gem among many of your contemporaries in our nation today, and indeed the whole world. It is on this wise that when I was informed of your coming to our state, I made up my mind to personally come to this program to physically express the solidarity of the government and people of Niger State to you. And your efforts in trying to free our present world from the shackles of sin, corruption, greed, insecurity, poverty, sickness, and diseases. I join my faith with you and your team in your fight for the freedom of humanity through your well-known teachings 
on holiness of life and character, peaceful coexistence, and religious tolerance. Moreover, Pastor, your concern for our youth through the Youth Impact Academy aspect of this campaign makes the entire program very unique. The policy trust of our government is to support individuals to be self-reliant, vibrant, and nation builders who will hold our nation higher in the global arena even after we leave the stage. Thank you, Pastor, for sharing in this our collective vision for our youth. I urge you, Pastor, to use your wealth of religion, knowledge, and experience to continue to promote the much-desired peace, religious tolerance, and security, as you have always done anywhere you go in our land. The people of Niger State are hospitable, accommodating, peace-loving, and tolerant to all faiths. And that is why I have determined, in spite of my tight office schedule, to act out time to personally join the entire Christian community in our state to welcome a great man of faith as we all know you. Your Lordship, sir, I must respectfully request that you pray earnestly for a lasting peace, security, and prosperity of our dear state. On a final note, on behalf of all the people of Niger State, I welcome our beloved pastor, teacher, mentor, father, pastor, Dr. W.F. Kumui to our state, the power state of Nigeria, the largest in land mass, like the Bablu Kulkena land, a state flowing with milk and honey in terms of both natural and human resources. Thank you for honoring our state and projecting us to the whole world through this program and by the special grace of God this program is situated at the city gate the gate of the land has been opened to you speak the truth of God to this land Psalm 107 verse 9 says for he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness may the Lord cause his face to shine upon us may the Lord give us great peace and may he answer all of us thank you